Hello everyone, my name is Nathan, and today it's time to have a look at a new game called Galactic Shipwright. I've been sent this game by the developer a couple of weeks ago, I never really got around to have a look at it until today. And first I thought, hmm, might be too early to cover this game yet, waiting for a couple of updates, but then I saw something that convinced me to play it. The freaking servos. Now you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but you will see in just a second. Let's just go ahead and dive into the missions and we're gonna do the first challenge, the flight school. Whee! I actually really adore the stylized graphics. That's already a plus. Alright, here we are. This is our space station and I'm just assuming this guy is me. This is the block we are starting with and we have a whole bunch of things to build. Now, the building is kind of creative. You can add as much or as little as you want. You can build crazy stuff in order to accomplish the missions. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take away the depth of field because that is just that is just too much. There we go. Oh yeah, everything is clear now and I'm happy. In this first mission, we will have to reach all of the waypoints. So we basically just have to build a functional ship. So what we could do is add a whole bunch of these panels, for instance, to make it bigger. So why don't we go ahead and, for instance, add a 3x3 body part. Yeah, that should get us started. I'm also gonna use R in order to rotate stuff and you can use T in order to mirror. Next up, I want to make a little small section. This is, by the way, the first ship I'm building. I've just seen what you can do and I've looked at the tutorial, but I haven't built an actual ship just yet. The principle is easy enough though. Okay, let's say this is going to be our base shape for the time being. We have a couple of other modules we have to install. For instance, we have a couple of engines and we also have uh, power plants and batteries with capacities. So basically everything you do requires a little bit of power and you need to generate enough of it. Last but not least, we have a whole bunch of weapons that we can use and this is basically all that's in the game for the time being. Now, let's have a look at the engines. A small one is actually really small, so maybe let's use a large one and we're gonna use three of them. Let's rotate this around so we can attach it. One, two, three. And if I'm not mistaken, these guys have a hotkey assigned to them. So this is important because it works in a similar way as space engineers, for instance. You have to add thrusters for each direction you want to be able to go to. So we could, for instance, add a couple of thrusters here and there. So we would be able to turn the ship towards the left and right. Of course, we would also need a thruster in the front in order to stop the ship and that's all we have to do because it's only two-dimensional. You are traveling on a plane. However, in my opinion, this is boring. As soon as I heard about the servos, and I think we find them right here, specials. Yes, yeah, servo. This thing can actually rotate. Oh, yes. So we're gonna make this a lot better than just adding thrusters. Oh, yeah. What I want to do is I want to make this a whole lot larger. So let's attach a couple of blocks here. Let's do about four blocks, that should be enough in my opinion. And then we're gonna add a couple more thrusters. The thrusters are gonna be right here. Maybe actually one is already gonna do the trick. And then I would like to have some more thrusters here and here in order to turn backwards. Okay, now it's probably time to add a couple of batteries and power plants. So this one is producing 50 kilowatts per second. And this one here has a capacity of 300 kilowatts. So if I add one of these power plants, let me see. Uh, we can even add them here, but that doesn't make sense. I'm going to add two power plants like so. And then we're also going to add two batteries like that. We also have a shield generator. This one shouldn't be too important, I think, in this first mission. We can already go ahead and kind of test it out. If I hit the W key, you can see all of my thrusters are going. Oh, this is still a little bit wobbly. <laughs> but we can also brake and fly backwards, so that is working. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I can already see the silliness now. So let's go back into edit mode and we want to stabilize this a bit. We could do something like that, that should already stabilize it. I'm also gonna delete these uh, backward thrusters and we're gonna add them right here in the front. Next up I'm gonna add two more power plants and two more shield, no not shield generators, but the batteries right there. Okay, so now what I should be able to do is use J in order to rotate this and this is gonna make my ship a lot more compact. But if I have it extended, I have more forward thrust, so I have more potential thrust to go forward. It is quite silly. 
Anyways, it seems as though the game is automatically assigning the correct thrusters in order to do your rotations and stuff, so you don't even have to assign the keys now. So let's actually go ahead and use our ship in order to uh, try to reach these targets. The first waypoint has been reached. The movement seems to be quite realistic in terms of thrust, so it does feel quite a bit like you are in space. Now I can already see the problem here. We might actually have to add a couple of weapons in order to get rid of these asteroids. I don't think I can actually go past them. Well, maybe we can. Just maneuver very, very carefully. Yes, okay, I can actually push them out of the way. If you bounce into something too hard, blocks are gonna break off your ship and you're gonna fall apart. All right, let's try to push our way through these asteroids. We can do this, guys. Oh, oh, no, no, that wasn't good. I just lost one thruster, but we can still do it without this one. And waypoint reached, beautiful. Get out of the way. Waypoint reached, and there's one more to go. We can reach this easily. Let's rotate our servos just for shicks and giggles. Oh, look at that, and we can change the shape of our ship. I love it. All right, so now we have to land over there. Apparently, we can do this. Ah, there we go. Success. Oh my gosh, stop, stop. Okay, we did it. <laughs> and we took uh, 248 seconds. Wow, okay, there's a lot of improvement to do from the looks of it. Let's uh, check out uh, the next level. Transport all the passengers. So let me actually switch up the ship a little bit. I think we can do a lot better in terms of shapes. Now that I know a little bit what I want from the functionality, we can do this better. I'm just gonna delete everything, I think. Already looks much more interesting. I call this the Scorpion Man. Now, I would like to add a couple of weapons, actually, to this one. So we have the plasma turret, we have a missile launcher, rail gun, laser turret, laser cannon, and plasma gun. Let's go with uh, the turrets, first of all. I have some slots right there. And I think uh, rail gun, no, let's go with laser cannons right here in the front. Okay, I actually have one more spot free here, so we could go with one missile launcher right there. Why the heck not? Now we're gonna add a couple of forward thrusters right there and on the wings, or the elbows, I should say. And then I think that's it. We can already test it out. Let's just hit the play button. We can turn, we can move forwards and backwards. That is great. So how do we shoot? Okay, just with a mouse button. That is good. Let's go ahead and dock. We need to slow down over here. Now I wonder how that works. Can they just hop on or do I have to have a special module? I'm slow. Okay, Joe is coming on. Yeah, there we go. He hopped on. So he's just considered to be part of my ship now. Now, will we face a couple of enemies? That is the question. Uh, take me to base A. Okay, so that should be over there. Now, one more cool thing about this game is gravity. You actually go to these planets, in quotes, and you will experience gravity, so you will have to fight against it. And theoretically, you should be able to orbit, if the math is correct. Yeah, there we go. We can even see we are now in the gravity well. So uh, go, 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 go. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that was actually really close. Okay, we are kind of orbiting, but we don't have enough speed. Oh no, we don't have enough thrust. <laughs> Crashing on the planet. Okay, I see. I see the problem. We could, for instance, add a little bit of thrust right here. What do you think? Engines, we're gonna add some more like so and so. Okay, should be enough to escape the planet, hopefully. I know, now we have to pick up this guy again. Come on, Joe, you can do it. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. Now, let's see. Maybe we can actually completely avoid the gravity here by just going past it. I mean, we can clearly see it visually, and maybe we can shoot asteroids we would uh, smash into otherwise. You can already see here is where the energy is being used now. Okay, I see how the lasers are working now. We also have a limited range from the looks of it, but so far, so good. I like it. Let's make sure we can reach this base. Come on, come on, come on, get off. Is this even base A, or do we pick up another guy here? I'm not sure. We're here? Yeah, yeah, Cho is getting off, and Rick is getting on. Okay, great. Take me to base C. Of course, you little booger. Asteroids, out of the way! I'm coming! Okay, now, careful, careful, careful. I have to say, the flying is really realistic. At least it feels like that in terms of space physics. You have to be very careful. There we go. James, hop on. Good job. Take me to base B. Asteroids out of the way! 
All right, there we go. This should theoretically be the last one, right? Because we had three bases and three guys that weren't at the correct location. So, James, hop off. There you go. Come on, come on, come on. Great. Okay, looks as though we have to pick up two more guys. Actually, we can see here two arrows. So let's do this. Asteroids are out of the way, so we can go there a little bit quicker. I'm gonna turn around so that I can break as soon as I need to. Look at that. This is really well done with the flying, in my opinion. Come on, boy. Hop on, hop on. Jeez, what are you doing? Thank you. You need to go back to base A. We can uh, totally arrange this for you. Let me just make a pathway here. There we go, picking up a little bit on speed, turning around, and now we just wait for it. Come on, John, get off. Thank you. That took you a while. All right, one more guy to pick up. Oh, perfect. I'm not bad at this. Steve, hop on. Uh, come on, Steve, you can do this. Yes. And he needs to go to base C from the looks of it. Yeah, voila. Great. Actually, this time we didn't do too badly. I was a little bit more careful in the beginning. I could have done it a lot quicker, but I didn't want to fail. Anyways, let's check out the next level. Build a ship and survive. Okay, we uh, should be able to do it with our ship right here. I mean, right now, I don't see why not, except we could maybe add a little bit more capacity here. So let me delete this block and this one here. We're gonna do this a little bit differently. I would like to have some more power plants and also batteries, maybe something like that. Then we're gonna need a block right here for the engines and that should give us a little bit more capacity, I would say. Yeah, I think we have to fight a couple of enemies. Uh, let's fly off. Oh my gosh, I did do something wrong here. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. Play, let's do this. Everything is attached now. Okay, okay, good. Let's go for our first enemy. We're gonna go in quite quickly. It's right over there. And that was uh, too soon. We need to wait until we are in reach. There we go. Take him apart. You can do this. Yes. Okay. Looking good. Uh, did he damage us? Because of course we don't have any shields at the moment. We have to overwhelm with firepower and speed. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Coming in and shooting. There we go. He's down. And, oh no, he damaged our ship a little bit. Oh, what? There's a second wave? Are you kidding? Okay, maybe we need at least one shield in the front, to be honest with you. There we go, let's shoot this guy first. He's down, and we're gonna go for this bigger ship in the background. Don't let it shoot you. Come on, destroy it. Also, the power is much better if you actually observe it. Uh-oh, someone is shooting at me. I'm gonna take apart this guy now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Destroy him before he can uh, take a good shot at you, I guess. Our ship is still more or less intact, I would say. Look at that. I really like the back here, the back wings. Anyways, time to get closer to this guy. He's starting to shoot, but he won't stand a chance. Now, these beams right here, they should be centered, more or less, because I'm always missing the small ships this way. I should have the beam in the center and then maybe the rocket launchers on the sides. Anyways, it seems as though this is the last guy we need to shoot, so we're gonna do that at full speed. Yes. Oh, oh, he did damage one of our things. Oh, my controller is actually vibrating over here, so that means you can use your controller for this game. That always freaks me out when a game does that. Now we may play 71, not too bad. I wonder of how many actually. Maybe we can check that. Of 102, so I suck. <laughs> let's go for the next level and see what it has in store for us. Um, let's see, okay, we have a couple of enemies, but we also have passengers. So now we have to take care of passengers and enemies at the same time. Could be interesting. It looks as though there's only one passenger though. So let's pick him up. Come on. Come on, guy. Joe. It's Joe. Good. Time to bring him over there and also take care of the enemies. We're gonna go straight through the asteroid field here. Oh, by the way, you can also enable or disable modules. So I didn't even have the rocket launcher enabled at first here. Oh, oh, there's actually a mine. Oh, oh, that's not good. This is a minefield. Holy cow. What are you doing to me? Oh, oh, and here is a gravity thing. Oh, that's not good. Planet, stupid planets. Uh, turn around. Don't get sucked into it. Oh, great job. I'm really great at this. Yeah, let's take care of these bombs. Oh, come on. Shoot them. Yeah. 
I think we can actually shoot in any direction as long as we have the mouse pointed at the right thing. Now, I don't even see the enemies. Maybe the enemies are just the bombs here. Could be. And this is where we have to bring him. Oh, what is this? What? What? what stop, 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 stop. Take care of these. Take care of these. Yeah, little boogers. I don't believe you. Oh, oh, they're starting to damage my ship. That's not good. I need to break a little bit. Recover. And take this guy apart. Okay, we are still good. We can still maneuver, I think. Okay, we have to transport another passenger, though. That is less good. Come on, Joe, get off. And Clark is coming on. Oh, no, no, no. I just destroyed another one of my modules. That is really bad. Okay, now we just have one beam. That is fine. We can still work with it. All right, so there is an enormous minefield out here. But I'm pretty sure we can handle it. Are we being damaged? I feel like sometimes we're being damaged. Maybe something is shooting at us and I don't realize it. Easy peasy with our setup. So that is one thing I don't really think the game should have exclusively. And that is the creative mode building stuff. There should also be something else, an alternative where you actually have to work in some way or the other for your ship designs. I mean, I do like the besiege type building style of this game. Where you have a lot of freedom and you can do really silly things. This game mode should definitely remain in the game. But I feel like the potential for this game could have something in relation to resources in store for us. Uh, we're picking up hopefully our last passenger, Thomas. Our ship is still more or less intact and we need to get all the way over there. Yeah, this feels like the last station. Uh oh, the gravity could be a problem here. I don't want to get sucked into it. It would be nice to test if you can actually orbit. Oh no, oh, 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 that was close. Oh no, no, we are in the gravity, but we made it out. Okay, cool. Let's take care of this minefield here. And there we go, break, break. Oh, jeez, yeah, you can do this. Thomas, get off. Come on, Thomas. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, we did it. Nice. <gasps> and we are on 10th place. Not too shabby. Land to transfer passengers. What? We have to land on here. Oh my gosh. Ah, okay. So, wow. With the gravity? Oh my gosh. Okay, that's insane. So what if we did the servo thing right now? We could add landing struts, though. And that doesn't make sense here. Um, let me actually see if we have enough juice to do this. So we are being sucked into the gravity. And if I thrust fully, okay, I get out of it. That is good to know. Let's try to break here. Yes. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, that wasn't a good break. Yeah, Steve, don't hop on. Don't you see what is happening to the ship at the moment? So now I should have uh, better control over it, hopefully. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just focusing on this platform now so we can land as gently as freaking possible. Oh, Jesus. Okay, slowly and gently, looking good. Yeah, very, very slowly. Yeah, Kerbal Space Program style. Okay, we did it. Steve is on. Can we escape the gravity? It looks as though just about. This is a really nice game concept with the landing and stuff. Now let's see if we can actually repeat this. Uh, 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 gravity is getting us. Okay, oh, one. We need to make sure that we are actually at the correct spot here. Man, this is not the easiest of tasks, I have to say. I always have to correct a little bit. But if we keep on thrusting enough, uh, we should be good. Come on. Oh no, we're still far away. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, I can see the shadow. Shadow is always a good thing. And there we go. We landed. <laughs> okay, where do we have to bring you? Look at this guy, just getting off now. All right, guys, so I didn't quite succeed with the mission, but before I wrap up this video, I wanted to show you a few more designs that come with the game. You actually have a load button right here with a list of things already pre-built for you. And there is even a workshop, so you can load models from the workshop. There aren't too many on there just yet, but of course that all depends on you guys. So let's have a look at the battle cruiser first of all. Heck yeah, that is much more like it. I really like the shapes they make available to you. Also, of course, a feature I haven't shown you yet is you can paint stuff. That's pretty cool. You can also set to manual controls, so you can set up a bunch of controls for instance, right here, if I wanted to change this, I have to click F and then it cycles through WASD and other stuff. 
Q and E is also a thing, for instance. Let's actually see how this guy handles. Not too shabby. Everything is enabled at the moment, so this is more a beam-focused machine. I wonder if they have a design with a servo that would be awesome. We have the dart right there. I wanna see how this handles. Oh yeah, this is a really fast one. Oh, I like that. Let's actually bump into another ship. Come on, you. You are my target. No, you don't catch me. There you go! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. We also have the flipper, that looks like so, and we actually have a servo on this one, so that intrigues me. What can we do with that? Yes. Oh, that is so cool. So we can really change the shape, and it seems to be working out in this way. Yeah, so we can have the beams going towards the front, and then I can extend this in order to face them into another direction, even to the sides if I wanted to. That is a pretty good integration of the servo. Also, right here we can see actually the shield. There is one shield block right here, and it projects a shield towards the front. We also got the heavy falcon, holy cow. This thing is nicely equipped, I have to say. Shields all the way around, and we also have a nice arsenal of weapons. So maybe let's destroy a guy. Take that, you little moron. Oh, it actually uses up a lot of the power here, I have to say. There we go. <laughs> Just bump him out of the way. Next up, we have their lander design. So it is actually a very small design. Maybe something like that would have been better to pick the guys up on the planets. Once again, I really like uh, that they have so many shapes available. I mean, this is really intriguing stuff here in terms of block design. Usually, the shapes come out a little bit more boring in games like that. This one has a couple of missiles attached to it. Yeah, there we go. We can clearly see that. Also, we have small thrusters here in the front in order to turn around. And last but not least, we have the rail gun. Oh yeah, I'm probably gonna be most fond of that one. Rail gun and some missiles, probably. But it also takes up a whole lot of power. Look, just one shot takes like a quarter of my energy. This is insane. Take that, come on. Oh, 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 yeah, that was a hit. And oh my gosh, my controller goes wild. Anyways, that was probably about it. So yeah, at the moment the game is still in very early access and maybe you can actually see the appeal. Look at that, the earth is right there. For me, I'm glad I have it in my library and maybe in a couple of updates and when they have a couple more features added to the game, I'm definitely gonna have a look once again. But yeah, other than that, I would say we're gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and hopefully I'm gonna catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.